You awake? I'm ready. <laughs> Queen of Hearts. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Hey everybody! Welcome back to our channel. We hope that you are enjoying our park vlog. We had a blast and um, we're so happy that we're getting to share all of that with you. But right now we're wanting to share all the things we picked up at Disney World. So we're gonna do our Disney haul of all of our stuff. I'm invited to this one. I got left out of the last Disney haul, but. Bless your heart, huh? <laughs> Minnie decided that I could be a part of this one, so. You got plenty of stuff I'm to I'm gonna show. talk about things that I got this time. Yep, and we're also filming like right at like dusk, so. Lighting's probably yeah. gonna be a little a little here, a little there. The window's right here, so it's probably gonna change some, so just go ahead and excuse that. I can't handle the sun. I can't control it. I've tried, <laughs> it just doesn't work. We're gonna go ahead and get into it because we have a ton of stuff. And like I said in the last haul that I did, we kinda just wanna do this, not to say, oh, look what we got. You know, it's, it's fun to show people what you got, but the main reason we like to do this is because we like to give people an idea how much they need to budget for it for spending money on souvenirs because it can get away from you fast and you don't realize how expensive some things are at disney you don't realize it's not just a theme park you get there and you want everything everything that's true and so hopefully we can show you some of the things that we got and you'll be like oh yeah i want that you can add it to your list because one thing we do recommend ahead of time is go to the Disney Store's website and make a list of things that you kind of see ahead of time and kind of get an idea of how much money you would want to spend or watch haul videos, but kind of get an idea so that way you don't just get there and just pick up everything you see. You kind of have kind of things that you see ahead of time that you know that you want to get. All right, so since we have so much stuff, we're just going to jump right on into it. Who wants to go first? You go first. Probably you. Uh, okay. Ladies so. first. You're such a gentleman. <laughs> First thing we picked up is an obvious. I got new ears! Yeah! That was a given. I love these ears! Um, I actually wore these almost every single day. I actually didn't wear my black ones with the red bow. I loved these because they went with everything. And again, these are I think like $21.95, which is the same as the black ears. And I really enjoyed these. And I also picked up a set for Animal Kingdom. The only thing I don't like about these is it's been on a bow. I like my bow. It feels empty without having something right here. It feels like it's missing something. So I have mini ears and I have Mickey ears because these don't have a bow. <laughs> but I really like these. And I actually picked up giraffe ones too. And I ended up taking them back just because I really don't, I didn't think They didn't I really go with anything that you had. And I didn't need three new sets of ears. I got, like I said, you get over happy and you're like, oh, I need this, oh, I need this, oh, I need this. And then you come back and you have, you have three new sets of ears. And those were actually $17.95. Yeah, these were cheaper. They don't have a bow. Yeah, I didn't get ears, but I did get a hat. Yay, I love that hat. <laughs> and it's so cute and it's got Mickey on it and he's in his cute little Just normal pose. vintage so Mickey pose. Yep, I really like your hat. Doing Mickey stuff. So the next thing we picked up while we were there were these um, playing cards and they're super cute. They have Mickey on it and they have a bunch of like, of the characters they have. I'm looking at the picture on the back. They have Magic Kingdom Epcot. They have the Sorcerer hat still for Hollywood Studios, which is pretty cool. And they have the Tree of Life. So they have all those kinds of things. So it's got Tinkerbell um, as the Joker and it's got Sorcerer Mickey as the Joker. And I really love it because it's got Sorcerer Mickey in front of all of kind of the theme park icons. And I just love these. And these were $6.95, so that's not bad. And I love Sorcerer Mickey. All right, so the next thing that I got that I'm really pumped about is this Mickey's uh, Coco. <laughs> she may be a little excited, but oh, I'm chocolate. really excited because I usually drink like cocoa milk like every night before I go to bed. So this is gonna come in handy a lot. Yeah. And you couldn't get this without getting this. So it's like a scooper and it has like the Mickey hand on end. We could also just use this. Um, it's two teaspoons, yeah, tablespoons, we, two tablespoons. We can just use this like cooking too. So Brittany loves getting kitchen stuff, especially if it has like hidden Mickey stuff in it. So the cocoa was $11.95 and the scooper was $9.95. 
So while we're on the topic of food, the next thing I picked up were these hard old fashioned candies. I got the cinnamon one and the shortage fruit one. We got these at the American Pavilion in Epcot. Jared thinks that these are gonna be terrible, but <laughs> I think they're kind of neat and it'll just be good, like a time passer candy. So I figured I'd just pick them up and give them a try. And they're both $2.95. So I mean, this is a pretty big bag of candy. So I'm kind of excited to try these and I hope that I could be wrong. <laughs> I hope so too. So one tradition that Brett and I have is every year that we go to Disney World, we want to bring back an ornament with us. Mm -hmm. And so this trip wasn't any different. This time we picked this one up. It's a Mickey and then each side has a different snowflake on it. This side's red and it has a little bit of glitter. On the other side it's silver and it also has a snowflake and some glitter on it too. Uh, I don't remember how much it is because the tag isn't on this one still. I don't know what happened to the tag but... It came off in the traveling. <laughs> I guess so. but. This is just kind of to add to our collection, the tradition that we have going. Yep. So I'm excited to put that on our tree. So the next couple of things that I got, I actually picked up at the Mexico Pavilion and I got this little cross and it has a magnet on it and it doesn't say how much it was. It's just mint. And I know that these weren't very expensive though. I got this one and I actually got one for my mom and it's in the box. Let me grab it. It's still in the box just because um, I'm going to give it to her as a gift. I think I'm actually going to keep this until Christmas, so I hope she doesn't watch this video. <laughs> if she Surprise. does, then I'm just going to give it to her anyways. But I got her um, a yellow one too, and I got her a butterfly just because it's special to us because it reminds us of my Mimi. And um, again, this one was just mint. I don't know how much it was. Whatever mint was. And I also got these two little baggies. Um, they're just like coin purses, but they're like hand woven. I think they're so pretty. They're super light and kind of flimsy, but they were only $2.95 and they came from Mexico. So that's really awesome. And I picked up one at, um, it came from Nepal yeah, at Mount Everest. Mm -hmm. Not at, at Mount Everest. The gift shop in Expedition Everest. <laughs> <laughs> I picked it up at Mount Everest. <laughs> Um, at Expedition Everest and so this year I got these little bags and um, that I used that bag that I got last time on our trip and it came in super handy so I'm excited to have these to keep our coins in to do our pressed pennies. Speaking of, we got more pressed pennies and we filled our book up um, for all the pennies except the quarters. Next time we got to start on some quarters. We actually did one quarter but it's some, I don't know where it's at, but it's somewhere. Um, but we filled all this up and we figured out that if you fill this whole book up and it will be worth like over $50 <laughs> of pennies. But it's cool memory and we love to go back and look at them. And um, I think we got a couple of the same ones twice that we yeah, got we last did. time. But um, definitely if you're heading to Disney, pick up one of these because this is such a cool and kind of cheap souvenir to do. And it's fun to so go and find new machines and things like that. And so, I don't know, I just think it's a really got good idea and I think that people should try to do this because it's really interesting. And plus most of them have two or three different options of every one so you get to choose. You have a ton that you can pick from like it would take you forever to get every single one. They have them at resorts, they have them at restaurants, they have them in parks, yep. they have them everywhere. So. I mean, unless you seriously spend an entire trip looking for pennies, you couldn't get all of them. The next thing that I got that we used a ton of while we were there is this backpack. Backpack! Backpack! <laughs> oh, that's not Disney. I'm sorry. It says Walt Disney World on it and it has Mickey's everywhere. And it's, it's kind of small. It was really light. I think it, what was it, $9.95? Yeah, you, you could spend like a, so, so much in the park and then you could get the bag for $9.95. Kind of like what we did with our blanket last time. You had to buy something to buy this. I think you had to spend $40 or $50, I believe. Really? $49.95 I think is what you had to spend and you could get the bag for nine. This for but $9 still, $9 like, if you bought a backpack at Disney World, it would be like $50. Bucks. So $9.99 for one, it's like no biggie. But the only thing is, is I think it's kind of starting to yeah, yeah it is. It's starting to rip on the It's corner, starting to so. rip right here. I mean, you can see. And I actually bought my own backpack. <laughs> You'll see it in our vlogs. Love that backpack. I got it from Animal Kingdom. And I had it for a day. A day. It really wasn't even a full day. And it was $50. $40 and $50. And yeah. it did this. It was fisting, it was like hanging the <laughs> the strap was so I took it back no problem they gave me my money back but this one was only like ten bucks so it really wasn't a big deal that it started tearing up. It was like the perfect size for me. Yeah, and I can probably sew that and fix it, but I'm not gonna sew one and fix it after a day yeah, of use when not I for spent 50, like fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, that much money on it. 
not having a girlfriend. Not having it. So I took that backpack back and I got another bag. Um, not for in the parks, but just kind of for, I don't know, every day. And I feel like it's made much better than that backpack was. It's thicker material. But I got this big, sorry, did I whack you? <laughs> <It's back. laughs> I got this Mickey bag. I love this bag so much and the material is so thick. And it has a pocket right here. I zipped it up. It has a really deep pocket and the zippers on it are Mickey's. I lost my Mickey. <laughs> the zippers are Mickey's. Come back, They're Mickey. super cute. And um, it has a zipper on the inside too. And it's a big bag. I mean like, Jared, you just, you in the bag. Just not getting along today. Super big, I mean look at that, that's crazy. The bag's getting all up in my space. That's okay, me in the ears, you in the bag. Her, she hits me with her ears constantly, like in the eye, in the nose, in the mouth. They're just so big. <sighs> oh, my ears, I have big ears, me and Dumbo. You actually, she used this as her, um, as her carry-on on the way back. I too. did, and I actually used this on my last day in the parks, um, just because I needed something to carry with me into the parks that I could use as my carry-on on the plane, so I just used this. And this bag was only like $20. One of the best like purchases I've ever had at Disney World, because yeah. I don't feel like this is gonna tear up anytime soon, and I'll have this for a really long time, and I can't wait to bring it back to Disney! So nobody can go anywhere and be touristy without getting a t-shirt, right? That's my favorite souvenir. <laughs> So Brittany and I both got a new t-shirt this time, except me, I got sleeveless. For when the sun's out, I wanted to be able to have the guns out too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but really it was so hot there that by like after the second day, I was like, I don't know why I didn't bring some type of tank top or something. Because in. all of your tank tops are just cut off <laughs> white t-shirts and we are- And I didn't feel like those were appropriate for public, so. We liked us at home. So I got this one, it's just kind of a classic Mickey on the front and it says Walt Disney World. Love this tank top. <laughs> and then on the back it says, see, see you real soon. soon. So we had to get it because, I mean, who doesn't love the phrase, see you real soon? Love it. <laughs> Love that big top. It it's looks super, so good on you. It's super soft. Uh, let's see. It's like 50-50 cotton and polyester, but it's super soft. Love that shirt. I don't remember how much it was. Like 20 something. Yeah. 20 Sorry. Inch. We're bad at this pricing Sorry. thing. We wore that. Or we. We. No, I, I didn't wear that. Jared wore that. And so I already had to wash it because it was probably nasty. From yeah. And the part. so we don't have the tag on it or anything. <laughs> so the shirt that I got was. Da, 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 uh. <laughs> that was a red. The time before, she's like, I'll never get to do the Rebel Spot. I feel like every trip we ride Star Tours the most. For some reason, it's always the one we ride yep. the most. I and think we rode it five times this trip, last trip. I've never been the Rebel Spot except for this time. I'm the <laughs> Rebel Spot. So, she, of course, so she I had to like, get a t-shirt. Oh my God, I have to get a t-shirt to remember that. One thing I will say is, um, I, in adult sizes, I wear about a small medium. I wear a medium. Medium. I'm a medium. Usually, I aim for the medium just to have a little bit more room and be comfortable. And the adult ones at Disney, the sleeves are kind of too long for me, and they're really long. And so, I found this shirt actually in the kids section, and it fits me a hundred times better. The kids one does. Those sleeves are shorter. Yeah. It's not as long on me. It fits me like a normal like. Normal t-shirt. And would. so if you wear a small anywhere from a small to a medium in adult t-shirts, I would opt for getting the kids one if that's something you want to do. And I got the kids extra large and it fits me perfect. And I love this shirt. It is so comfortable. I should have wore it. You wore it you wore it there one time. I did to Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Yep. You could you couldn't stand and, it. Like, and you, everybody, couldn't, you couldn't wait anywhere. Like I gotta wear this. I got it and I put it on. I wore it the rest of the time. <laughs> And then everybody was like, oh, you the Rebel Spy? And I was like, I was. I was the Rebel Spy. She was pretty proud of it. I was. It's a Disney thing. All right, so the next things we got were a lot of books because it's kind of weird. It's kind of like we're kind of like book collectors, even though we don't really ever take the time to actually read them. I read books. But we just love having books. I read a lot we love of books. going to bookstores, we love collecting books. Of course, if you've seen our videos before, you know we love the writer's stop. And so this time we picked up several books of P. First one I got, The Tales of Uncle Remus, which is like The Tales of Brer Rabbit, which kind of inspired Song of the South. And I got it because um, Splash Mountain is one of my favorites. We love going into the Briar Patch after it's over with and just looking around. That's where I picked this up. The next one, we bought both of these at the writer's stop. They're both about Walt. We actually didn't get these at the writer's stop. We got these really? at the Christmas shop in Magic Kingdom. That's right. I forgot about that. We did when yeah. we got our ornament. You're right. I'm sorry. 
Um, this one is, is called The Quotable Walt Disney. It just has a lot of Walt's favorite quotes in here, ones that he was famous for having. I cannot wait to read this book. It says this one was $12.99. Uh, the Bray Rabbit one was $5.99. And then this one was called An American Original, which was about Walt Disney. I think this is more of like a biography. Can't wait to read that book. <laughs> and it was $15.99. $15 so those were all the ones that were kind of ones I picked out. And, and of course, Brittany has some that she picked out too. Okay, so I got <laughs> two of these. I got the um, Beast Within and Fairest of All. Well, this one is told from the Evil Queen's perspective of Snow White, and this one is told from the Beast's perspective on Beauty and the Beast. So I'm so excited the the about these. Uh, I actually <laughs> just flipping through this, and I took a cover off, and this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh no, she scared me to death. <sighs> I had a heart attack. I wasn't expecting her to be in there. I like her when she's not old. <laughs> so I got that one and on the inside it's just got the prints on this one. So I picked up both of those. I've heard either you love those books or you hate those books. Got those at the writer shop. I know you're excited to read those. Yes, I really am. I, I'm going to love them either way. I don't think that there's a way I could possibly not like them. I think that is the coolest concept of a book ever. I'm so excited. And of course, my tradition that I always do is always pick up a brand new Winnie and the Pooh book. So I found this book in the store in London that has all the, um, the Beatles stuff. This one was $25.99, but it's a really big book and I'm so excited about this one. So the next thing we got on our only trip to, Met to Animal Kingdom this time. Because we were burnt, because that's where we lost our camera. We were we like, we're not going back. We'll lose our other camera. And it was just really simple. It was just this little magnet. It's got uh, Goofy and Pluto, Mickey, Donald, Pluto, and, and Donald. And it doesn't have the, the price on the back. It just says that it was purple, but it's just a simple little magnet uh, just to remember Animal Kingdom by. To go on our fridge. <laughs> I think we'll definitely have different memories of Animal Kingdom now. But That just means we have to go back <laughs> and replace bad memories with, with good, good ones. ones. That's true. So my favorite thing that I picked up while I was there is my new Pride and Joy. It is some new sunglasses um, from the Sunglasses Hut in Magic Kingdom. And that just opened, I think, in like January, and it's in Adventureland, and I'm so excited. I've got really bad migraines, so that was the thing that I was um, trying to save my main souvenir for was to pick up some sunglasses there because I really needed like good polarized ones. And so I got these Ralph Lauren sunglasses. I'm so excited about these. I've already <laughs> I've already beat this case up so bad. It looks like I've had it for 30 years. Um, but I just picked up these sunglasses and they are so comfortable. And I pretty much scratched them on the first day because <laughs> I can't take care of anything. But they're super awesome. I love these. These are like my favorite sunglasses. Not because they were expensive. Not because they're designer. Just because they feel so awesome. And they really help me with headaches and I'm so excited about these. The next thing that we picked up, we actually picked it up in Hollywood Studios and it was one of our just kind of on the whim things. And I picked up a shopping list. I love this little shopping list. I'm a super huge list maker. I make lists for everything. Especially when I go to the grocery store, I always make a list whether or not I remember to bring it to the grocery store. It's a totally different story. Um, but I'm excited to have this and it comes with a little pencil and I don't ever write with pencils so. I'm just gonna keep it in, on the desk or something for show. But it's got Mickey and it's Chef Mickey. And that's really cool because we've been to Chef Mickey's. And this was $6.95 and it's got a magnet so you can hang it on your fridge. Awesome. So the next thing we got while we were in Japan, of course, since we're in Japan, that meant we had to get chopsticks. Another tradition. Every time <laughs> I go, I get chopsticks. But this time, Jared got some too. Except first, I had to replace these because I broke them. The last pair that you got. And I'm sorry. But I replaced them, so it's all good now. <laughs> These were her panda ones. These are the exact same ones that she got on our first trip. He we broke there. one of my legs. He shoved it in the <laughs> door and instead of thinking, hmm, this door won't shut. Yeah. I, just... I should look and see what's in here, keeping the door from shutting. Instead of, shut, drawer, shut. And his legs broke his panda legs. These were $4.95. Super affordable chopsticks. So we got those to replace hers. And then I actually picked up a pair of my own this time. These were $5.95. They have a cat, a rabbit, a fish, and a shrimp on them. The main reason why I got these is because they actually do have shrimp on them. And Dad's not allergic to shrimp anymore. Well, right. he never was, but he thought he was for a long time. And so this was just kind of a way for me to remember the fact I can eat shrimp like a madman now. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Which is what I've been doing. Time all the time yeah, since he I went and got out. his hour due test right before we went to disney world so it's kind of exciting and i picked up some and these are just some mint color ones i love mint colored stuff and they have glitter in them and little flowers and they're so cute and these are not training ones i'm nervous i've had so much practice with panda 
Um, the thing about these are they're pretty cool because let me just open these. I didn't realize that the reason that the panda is on here is so. Get out, panda. Okay, so you can practice with the panda on, but once you're done. You take the panda off. It's <laughs> I'm always thinking, man, why do these legs come out? Yeah, well, I didn't think I was ever going to use them without She had panda. an epiphany, y'all. Epiphany? Epiphany. He had a piece. <laughs> What's wrong with us? We ha both have speech impediments, oh, apparently. God. Don't like these. This panda will haunt you. Wow. One of the biggest things that we picked up while we were there is this picture frame. I wanted a new picture frame because we actually took a bunch of really awesome pictures this time with our new camera. And so I wanted to have something to put them in. I love this picture frame. I love that it kind of has a pedestal. I'm just so in love with this. And it has um, hidden Mickeys in it. You really can't see them unless you get really up close. Yeah. And it has a castle at the bottom and I am so in love with this picture frame. I think this picture frame was like $40, but it's super heavy. It's so worth it. It's not overpriced at all, I don't think. Another thing I got with the um, picture frame is this chalkboard. I have a chalkboard at home and we got it for our wedding and it has a fleur de lis on it. But it's it's that rough chalkboard and it's really hard to write on. So it I is. picked this one up and it is so cute. And it's got, it's got a castle on it and it's got Mickey's in the corner and I love this. And I got this at the shop at Epcot when you first walk in to um, the World Showcase to the right. The one that has all the kitchen stuff. They kind of have more of a children's one to the left and then more of an adult yeah. shop to the right. I got it the one in the right that's closest to the Canada Pavilion. And again, don't know how much this was. I think it was like 20 something dollars. We're so bad at this pricing stuff. On to the biggest category of things we got on this trip, which is cups. And mugs. And mugs. We kind of went berserk. And popcorn souvenir buckets. Hey. <laughs> I don't know where those come from, but. Jerry, quit buying popcorn. I just can't help it. I think I had popcorn <laughs> seven times on our trip. Yeah. And I got a souvenir bucket on She has seat. a serious problem, y'all. One new addiction that Brittany picked up on this trip was Dole Whip. <laughs> I am so upset. <laughs> so, yeah. this was a Dole Whip like souvenir cup that um, we got while we were at the Polynesian one night. We got a Dole Whip downstairs, and so you could get the souvenir cup with it, and so she picked this up. I actually got one almost just like this at Matt Animal Kingdom, yep. and it had like the thing that you could like play on the little... It was an ocarina. Whatever that is. Um, it was, it had that, and it just kind of had like a, it was supposed to look like the tree of life, and it had that little thing that you could play. And I'm kind of glad that I don't have that one, I got this one, because I feel like that would be hard to clean. But along with our camera, we lost a souvenir mug. Just add it was it just like list. Animal Kingdom took everything from us that day. <laughs> Do you love this? <laughs> Give it to me! The next thing we got was this big uh, like Starbucks tumbler. tumbler that's supposed to look pretty much like a cup that you would get when you go to Starbucks. At the Disney park <laughs> and it actually has a straw in it. Yeah, which is really funny. <laughs> This is a straw that you get at when you get the straws at Disney and it's like the hard cardboard ones. I don't know why I kept it and just stuck it in here. And it has like all the Minnie and Mickeys and stuff like that on it. And this was $19.95. The sticker was actually still I love on that. Us. That's a huge <laughs> cup though. Like I'm so excited to take that with me to work and feel like I have a little piece of Disney with me. Next part of the cup theme, I picked up this guy because I thought it was really cool. Jared loves Frontierland. This is like a whole set of the different lands, I guess you would say, from Magic Kingdom. Uh, the first one I picked up was Frontierland because it's my favorite land at Magic Kingdom. It has like the train, it has the ferry boat on it, um, just different things that you would think about when you think of Frontierland. Not so much like the rides or anything like that, but just kind of reminds you of the Old West on here. Yeah. Super cute. I like that mug. I think you're going to enjoy it. It's not too big and it's not too small. It's just right. <laughs> Goldilocks size, if you will. Uh -huh. And this isn't too special because everybody usually gets a refillable mug, but we both got green this time, and we usually get different colors, but this time we just ended up getting the same color. I think we got all of the other colors except no. pink because yeah. we can't find it. But we got green this time, so that was that one. This is off topic of cups, <laughs> but while we are on the subject of popcorn and things like our refillable mugs, we'll just go ahead and talk about the fact that I got <laughs> a souvenir bucket every single time I got popcorn, and I have one from every single park because I have a problem. This is only like proof of her obsession with popcorn. I love it! <laughs> but 
Now I have a red one, I have a yellow one, I have a dark green one, blue, purple, lime green, and brown. Yeah, I've got them all. Oh, I have an orange one too. I have a problem, people. And a Christmas one. I need to go to PA. Popcorn Anonymous. <laughs> I'm like that I got was this Be Our Guest mug. I love this mug and it's got Lumiere on it and it is super cute. And the thing I like about this mug is the price. It was only $9.95 for this mug, and a lot of them are like $16 and stuff like that. So I was really excited, and it's just black on the inside. Love this mug. There's not really much I can say about it. It's yet. like one you could I use really every like morning it. drinking coffee, though. Like it's so simple. It's just simple. a mug mug. Just, yeah, I really, really like this. While we're actually on the topic of mug mugs, let's talk about another obsession we found. We really wanted to get the We Are Here mugs. You are here. You are here. Not we, but you. So we got. We got all four of them. Because, ah. I mean, like, when you get one from one part... We couldn't leave a park out! And then you get another one. When you get two, you might as well go and get all four of them, right? That was Jared's idea. Totally <laughs> his idea. I was like, oh yeah, okay, so you'll get the Epcot one and the Animal Kingdom one, and I'll get the Magic Kingdom, and next time we'll come, he was like, why don't we just get them all? I was like, are you serious? We got them all. First one we got was the Magic Kingdom one. Actually, was the last one we got. We got yeah, on our very last was. day. Here's the Animal Kingdom one, which was probably the first one we got, I think. I yeah. think this is the very first one we picked up. I really like it because it has the tree on it. Epcot was our first one we got, was it? which I it was, was this, one. this one. So that one is, the Magic Kingdom one is blue. The Animal Kingdom one is green. Um, this one is purple. I love the Epcot one. It's one of my favorite ones. And Hollywood Studios. This one was really pretty because it has- What color like, is this one on the inside? Red. red. And that it, one's has, red. it has like the Chinese theater as the centerpiece of it, which is kind of cool. All these are $14.95 each. It's a collection that's happening at Disney World, and I'm super excited to have all of these because one day they might not do these anymore. And I know they do these all over the world, like they do them if you go to New York, they do them if you go to London, and if you go into a Starbucks at like big cities like that, you can pick those up. We're not really worried about that. We were just really excited to get all of the Disney World ones. And if we go to Disneyland ever, yep. we will pick up the ones for California Adventure and Disneyland. Yep. And we'll have a completed section of You Are Here books. One of my absolute favorite things, and I think that it actually is my very favorite thing I've ever gotten at Disney World. Um, I picked this up in Canada, and it is a leather bracelet, and it just says, um, be kind on it. You can get whatever you want on it um it's an engraving station when you get into the canada pavilion first thing to the right and um they have the leather bracelets in all different colors i just picked the dark brown one i saw the list that everybody like wrote what their stuff was and most people got just their name on it i didn't see anybody get anything else besides their name and i didn't want my name because i know what my name is and if you know me you know what my name is too so i didn't feel a need to do that so i got be kind on that because it's a really good reminder to me and to other people who hopefully see my bracelet to be kind to others because you never know what someone is going through. People are always fighting some kind of fight and you never need to take your bad day out on someone else's because theirs could be a lot worse than yours is. So this is just a reminder that you need to be kind, I need to be kind, you need to be kind. It is just very important as humans to be kind to one another because we've got each other. I've got two more things of jewelry and this is one of my favorite things I've gotten. I think I've said that about everything, but <laughs> I just love all this stuff, but this is really special to me. So this is something I'm really excited about that Jared got me and he actually surprised me with this and it is a mini Alex. Alex and Ani. I always say it too fast to get it wrong. Alex and Ani bracelet. And he got this at the American Pavilion at Epcot. I ran to the bathroom and when I came out, he was like, hey, I got you something. And I thought it was like, I don't know. Well, you thought it was a t-shirt yeah. because I was just looking at a t-shirt over there. Yeah. Like, Did you give me that t-shirt? I was like, mm, yeah. No, it was you. You were like, oh, I really want that t-shirt. And I was like, oh yeah, you got you a t-shirt because Jared doesn't get himself a lot of things when we go there and I always try to encourage him to so I was excited that he got him a t-shirt and then he gave it to me and it was this how sweet of him he didn't get the t-shirt for himself he got me a bracelet I'm so excited and this is very special to me I love it very much thank you for surprising me with this you're welcome the last bit of jewelry that I got was this pair of uh, mini earrings well, I guess Mickey earrings. They don't have a bow, so Mickey earrings, and they're really small. You probably can't see them, but it's just two Mickeys, and I got the purple ones because that is my Mimi's birthstone, so I got the amethyst ones in memory of her, and I have very sensitive to ears, and these actually didn't bother my ears at all, so um, if you have sensitive ears, I do claim these as safe. For a temporary, I didn't wear them for very long, 
but just for like a day in the park, it's always okay. These earrings were, I don't know, I think they were like $20, $17.95, I think, for a pair of them. Yeah. And they have them in all different birth months. The last two things that we got were this pillow. And it just says, happiest place on earth. And we got this because we just did our guest bedroom again. We did our guest bedroom and we needed a pillow for in between. And so I picked this up because I needed a green one. And it was perfect. And I actually bought it and then I went the next day into a shop. I was like, oh my gosh, I really like this pillow. And he was, was like, like, you already bought you that. You already got it. So that meant I really <laughs> needed it because I loved it and I went to it twice. And this pillow was $26.95. That's typical for most of them. And it's just white and it says happiest place on earth on the back of it. I'm excited to have it on our bed whenever our guests come. They can have a little piece of Disney. Okay, so the very last thing that we picked up, which was me, I picked it up. <laughs> Jared, I mean, if you want to wear it, you can wear it. I'm good. Um, it might be hard to show you, but I got this like little cover thing. It's super cute. It's just kind of like a little, sh not a shawl thing, but just a cardigan-ish thing. And it has these fringes on the bottom. And I love this so much. I got this at the China Pavilion. And I've been wanting one of these just kind of cover-ups just to throw on, like, especially for fall um, when it's kind of, it's not cold, but it's not hot, just to throw on. And I'm so excited. It's super light and it's beautiful. It has so many awesome colors. And I love the fringe at the bottom. It's pretty legit. Um, and this was about $20. It wasn't a lot at all. I mean, it was as much as you would pay if you bought something like this at home. And I'm really excited about that. And I'm excited to wear it because I will literally be wearing a piece of Disney. And I think that's really cool. And I got that again at the China Pavilion. And they had it in pink. And I think that was that blue and pink was the only two colors I saw. Yeah. Okay, guys, so that is it for our Disney World haul. We hope you enjoyed it. It was um, really fun to do this video and to show you things. And we hoped it helped you as far as your budgeting for your next trip. We hope you found some things that you might want to buy while you're there. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave us comments. People seem to kind of like our haul video from last <laughs> month. So we, last month, from our last trip trip and we really hope that you like this one too and um thank you for watching and we'll see you next monday bye bye guys